Right now, to market yourself, it's like you don't have to pay. There used to be billions of dollars in television. And I was working, I started trying to get into TV back when they had sales teams at the TV networks. That's all done now. They're ban- they're all the Canadian ones are all closed. The American ones are all split in like one tenth of what they were. But basically, there used to be a generation ago. There used to be teams of salespeople that would call businesses and be like, "Hey, do you want to advertise on NBC? Can I sell you a package where you have two ads here and four ads there? Okay, can we send you a guy to make the ad for you? Whatever, whatever. Or that guy would call, or they would be like, "Do you have content? Whatever." This was like where they made all their money. It's done, man. It's all on YouTube now. And basically that whole distribution process is something that you have to just hire someone like us to do for you now. And there's just tons of money in it. And it, it just totally makes sense. I mean, and it, it, it actually costs too. nothing in the grand scheme of things compared to what you would have to kind of budget and forget the budget, the kind of contacts you need to have to have uh, any sort of production <clears throat> or message out there. Yeah, everything's gotten cheaper. Dude, when I started, we used to shoot commercials for like, I would fly to Montreal. They would fly me to do a commercial for Bell, let's say. And I remember the advertising reps, they were like, we were doing advertising in the 80s. We had private jets. We had this, we had that. Like they were loaded, dude. All the guys, the books, I forgot to get the book, but have you ever seen a Zag by Marty Neumeier? No. Or so basically, you know, your your guy Ogilvy, your, your favorite guy? or Ogilvy right there, right? So Ogilvy on advertising, he's like the top madman. And then after him, there was a generation. It was like Marty Neumeier. There's, I have the book from this other guy. And there's a bunch of guys like that. And they basically te- know and teach the same thing as Ogilvy. Um, but they work in marketing, big like marketing firms. And dude, for what we're doing, they used to charge millions. Like today, we have to work our way up to that. But I mean, we don't necessarily, like we could book a client that pays that kind of money. I don't see why not. We could definitely execute for them. But these guys, like they're, they were going into businesses with like, okay, so your budget's in the millions. Like you're, go, you're going to Tim Hortons, you're going to whatever. You're, you know the people at the television network and then you know like this is how we're going to get your thing, whatever. So that, from what I can tell, it's kind of dead. The internet is like the wild west but the money's all still there it's just up for scramble kind of like we can still make that kind of money it's just like a different system now it's like we got to almost find the like bigger client we have to find clients that are selling things that are worth a little more and then we have to set ourselves up in a way that we're getting some money out of it or else or else yeah it is way less but then the like on the front end it's way less maybe but on the back end i think it could be way more for us Yeah, definitely.